Hi everyone, thanks once again for tuning in to Smash Factor TV. Today we're going to help you guys if you're struggling to get the ball up into the air. We're going to have a look at getting a better connection and getting that uh, ball airborne with our first part in our series of how to hit the golf ball into the air. Let's go and have a look and get you improved with some more game changing golf coaching. <laughs> Hi everyone, thanks once again for tuning in to Smash Factor TV. My name's Natalie Adams. So back in the studio today and we're going to have a look at how to help you get the uh, golf ball into the air. Now, a couple of things could be happening here if you're not getting the golf ball up into the air. The first thing we need to look at is where you are actually connecting with the ball. And if, once you've taken your uh, address position here, if you're connecting with the top of the ball here, we've got to identify why. So the first thing I want you to check for here is that as you're swinging the club back, you're working on rotating your core and your stomach around to the right while you're keeping your left arm straight. Okay, so that will give you plenty of width, hand, your hands away from your body rather than picking the arms up in more of this kind of fashion. So if I just show you from head on here, we want to work on that as you swing back, you're gonna rotate your core and your stomach to the right, but you're gonna keep your left arm straight as you do that, okay? So we're making more of this movement here, rather than just picking the arms up and not rotating the core as well. Now that's really important because if you're more in this sort of position you're going to chop down on the ball, you can see that's going to give you a very steep downswing and you're going to hit the top of the ball. Whereas from turning the core and keeping the left arm straight and the, the hand away from you, that's going to mean that you come in at a more gradual angle here so that you can connect more into the side of the ball. So that's the first thing to work on is make sure that you're rotating well on your backswing, that you're turning your core to the right and that as you turn your core to the right you push your left hand away from you to main maintain that really straight left arm. Okay, next thing we want to check for is with posture that you've got into a good setup position with your posture. So uh, all we want to do there, if you pop the club down your back here, so the back of your head and the bottom of your back are in contact, you're going to tilt forward, keeping both of those positions uh, connected to the shaft. And then we're just going to soften the knees. I'm going to check that you're balanced in your feet, so you're not too much in your toes or rocking back into your heels. Just find the middle of your feet. Okay, from this position here, we now want to work on that as we rotate your body around, you're maintaining your head height. So we're going to rotate your body around to the right and you're going to maintain your head height. Rather than, again, if you're picking the club up, that's going to make you stand up more, your spine's going to become more vertical. And again, you've then got to drop down to get that club head back to where it started. So if you're lifting and straightening your spine up and then dropping back down again, we want to minimize that. Okay, good way to um, practice that would be if you took your posture uh, and if you just stood next to a wall and if you took your posture up so that your forehead is just touching uh, the wall and then just practice turning your stomach to the right and you should keep your forehead in contact with that wall and then turn your stomach to the left and again keep your head in your forehead in contact with the wall and um, just put a towel uh, between your forehead and the wall and if the towel drops out or if you can feel that you're moving up or down on it you know that you're not staying in posture but that will that will really help to give you that feeling okay final thing we want to look for is that when you're swinging back through so if you've maintained your posture here but if you push your hips towards the target too much, 
on your down on your downswing here so if my pelvis moves towards the ball it's going to pull my head backwards because otherwise I'd fall forwards and as that happens I'm going to stand up and that could make me hit the top of the ball rather than uh, connecting to the side of it and that's called early extension when your pelvis pushes forward and then it it pushes your upper body back to counter that. And what we want to work on there is you may be in too much into your toes when you're uh, swinging the club down. So when you get to here, you could be too much into your toes at the top of the swing. You're not maintaining your balance. And similarly, if you're pushing this way, too much force going this way, then that's going to push you into your toes, you're going to stand up to not fall over. So you basically just need to get you a little bit more balanced. So really good tip uh, here for you, take an old club or uh, an alignment pole, just pop it under your feet, you take your, uh, your posture up. And again, you could do this swing in a club as well, but just take your posture up and make sure that you're not back into your heels or rock into your toes. And then, so just rocking forwards and backwards and then find that midpoint for where you can maintain your balance and then work on taking some swings, maintaining your balance as you go through so that you're not swinging back and then pushing into your toes. That'd make you fall over. So to counterbalance, pushing into your toes and then you'll pull up this way. And again, it's not going to be easy um, to connect with the golf ball doing that. I'll put another link on if you do uh, in the video here. If you are someone that just struggles with early extension just to help you maintain your, your posture and get you rotating around your spine angle that you've set rather than it increasing or decreasing as you're hitting. But my final tip would be just take a tee peg. Um, you just need the stick part of the tee peg so you don't want this end particularly. So stick part of the tee peg. Just pop it a couple, uh, an inch, inch and a half to the target side of the ball. And then what you want to practice doing is hitting that tee peg out of the way. So just take a few practice swings to start with. You don't even need the ball. Swing the club back and swing the club through. And you're just working on getting an interaction with the sole, so that's the underneath of the club there, the sole of the club and the floor. So we want to get, if you're swinging that club a little bit high and you can't hear any or feel any uh, connection, you can't hear any connection between the sole of the club and the ground, you know you're swinging the club too high. So you've got to get so that you're connecting with the ground, but it's not just connect with the ground anywhere. We want to try to get that golf club so that it's moving downwards as you're striking through the ball. So we'd want to try to get that low point of the club head just to the left of the ball if you're a right-handed golfer. And then this angle here will help the ball go into the air. So you don't have to. This is gonna help the ball go up into the air as long as you present the underneath of the club to the floor where the ball is. So make a few practice swings, practice hitting the tee peg away. So we'll just do that here. So uh, the club set about two inches before that tee peg. We're gonna swing back, hit that tee peg out of the way. Just do that a few times, get yourself confident with that. And then start to introduce the ball, but exactly the same drill. Focus on taking the, uh, the tee peg out. I would get rid of the top part of the tee peg when you've got the ball involved, just so you're using the very thin stick. Again, just put it a couple of inches, inch and a half to two inches in front of that ball, and then have a go. Same thing, the ball happens to be there, but you're gonna get that club so that the sole of the club hits the ground where that tee peg is. So your, your attention is on hitting that tee peg out of the way. And that gives me a really nice flighted shot because I've got the sole of the club coming down to connect with the ground just after the ball. So that angle, the loft, is forcing the ball upwards, up that angle, and then the ball's getting airborne. 
Try that the next time you're at the range. It should really help you to uh, improve your strike and it should really help you to get that golf ball up into the air. But just go for those uh, tips and really work on head position as well. Because as I said, if you're swinging back and you're straightening your spine and then having to drop again, it's going to make it very, very difficult for you to get uh, a good connection on the ball consistently. But those tips will help you the next time that you're at the range and you're out on the golf course. It's some more game-changing golf coaching tips. Bye.